We're back for the playoffs and a possible board takeover. Welcome back to Beyond Blue Brazil. Welcome in. Last time we confirmed the playoffs. This time we're going to be in the playoffs. Uh, we we ended up winning two of our last three games of the season. Unfortunately, I rotated the side against Cove Rangers and we did lose, but Doug Leash scored his first goal for the club. And I will share that with you now because I feel like it's important enough. McHattie driving forward, plays in Biabi. Biabi turns around, plays across Doug Leash. Nice, tidy finish, bottom corner. Uh, one of our youth players has scored for the first team. We actually were, were drawn against Morton in the... Uh, Championship League One playoff semi final, so it is a two legged tie uh, that we've got to get past Morton, so it's going to be tasty. And as I said at the, the top of the episode, we're actually possibly going to get a takeover. There's now an embargo upon transfers, um, never a good place to be in FM. You always want to be able to move around and make signings. We're targeted by a consortium. Hmm. They've declared they will name a new manager if they take over. Hmm. I don't like that so much. The Cove Rangers game, I tried to rotate the, t the side fully and still somehow ended up with some of our first team players in there. So hopefully that doesn't hurt us here. We want to get off to a good start in, in this uh, two-legged tie. We've got manager of the month, which is nice. So before the semi-final... The takeover is complete. He's delighted by the deal and indicated that he wants to make a difference to, for the fans at Central Park. 18k has been pumped in the club's coffers and a new transfer budget has been calculated. I like that. So, club vision, striving to make progress on and off the pitch. It's kind of similar. My contract actually runs out soon. I can't even accept it. They've lifted the transfer embargo. And what is the transfer budget now? Zero pounds. Oh, big spenders, eh? They've put 18k in. And it's done nothing. You know, 18k is not a lot of money, but... When it told me that, oh, we've calculated a new transfer budget, I expected something. 30 quid, you know, 50 quid. I am unsure how to approach this game. They want us to be attacking. So that's playing into the their hands. I, I think we will be positive. I think we got to take the game here at home to Morton. Doug Leash has been playing very good. However, I, I feel like the sensible thing is to have Fraser Mullen in the, in the team. But maybe I'm maybe I'm wrong. I think we start with Fraser Mullen as the box to box midfielder because we want that we want that ability to. Get some goals from set pieces and put this to bed early, if possible. Here's the lineup for the first semi-final leg: uh, Adam Desboys in goal, uh, Kevin McHattie left back, Jeff King right back. You got Semple and O'Connor in the middle, uh, our best centre back pairing by some distance. Gillespie and McShane in the defensive midfielder roles. Mullen is a box to box midfielder. Kyle Hutton alongside him in the centre midfield attack, and you got Luke Mahadi and McRae up top pair that sometimes clicks and if they do puts us in really good stead for this game oh boy talk about biggest game of the save so far absolutely this is huge McKay drives across McRae goes back to goal I think we've hit our, our own man there oh my lord that would have been some start. Look, Mahadi. Oh, he just sends one whistling by. Mullen sends one in and we've clipped the bar. O'Connor with a header. That's why Mullen's on the field. Mullen is here for set pieces. Russell Lyon, Oliver, McGregor gets in behind. Good blocking, Gillespie clears. Wow. This is proper end-to-end -end right now. Jeff King 
into McRae, back to Jeff King. Just protect that ball, lads. McShane, Gillespie, into Mullen. Mullen shoots from distance. Keeper keeps it out, but it goes out for a corner, and Mullen can step up to this. O'Connor heads it. I think Hamilton gets hands to it and just about keeps it out. It's another Mullen corner. This one headed away. Cheeky little encourage on the boys. After the encourage, we see nothing else in the in the half. Keep morale up at half time. Send them out again, and let's grab a goal, McGregor. Lions, it's a tap in for Mackin, and that's it's so against the run of play. It it feels rigged. That's how against the run of play that is. We have absolutely battered them, and. The first highlight of the second half, they swing it in, it's headed away, it's crossed back in, and Mackin taps it in, and I've no idea how he stays on side. And they have not deserved that. We haven't deserved that. And the players I need to bring on are not there. Why is my left back had been kicked? He looks rinsed. What the hell is going on here? The game's going away from us. Literally, it's been one highlight the second half, and we are going to get... We're going to get screwed here. Andy McDonald's going to come on for the left back. <sighs> Fraser Mullins going to drop back for Jeff King. Jeff King's coming off. We're going to throw on... Campbell Notley. Campbell Notley swap with Kyle Hutton. Parker comes on for Luke Mahadi. I mean... We'll even give them a, a team talk. Point finger out of faith, make a difference. Confirm sub. Ah, oh, the game is just complete. I've just made the subs. Kevin McHay, Andy McDonald. I've I I subbed him before that should even happen. That's not okay. We've already given a team talk, apparently. Ugh. We need something here. We've absolutely, we've been the better team by so uh, a long margin. This is going to be the worst possible way to lose playoffs. We battered them the first half and we got nothing. Absolutely nothing out of that. That is really disappointing. The cat is out four or five weeks. We don't have a left back. Unbelievable. We were... We looked so much better than them. And then they score. This is nothing of a goal. A tap in. How the ball even gets to him in a sea of people. No idea. Really poor. Is that our worst game of the season? It feels like it is. I am actually stunned by how many changes we have to make here due to injuries and tiredness. Uh, Duffy comes in as we don't have uh, our first choice left back anymore. McHat, he's out for the season, four or five weeks. McDonald's coming in for Semple. The idea that we can't play him in this massive game is disgusting. <laughs> same way, uh, same with our midfielder, Gillespie. He it, has not managed to recover at all. Ryan Blair comes in, so it it doesn't look great for us here at all. It's a much weaker side. O'Connor needs a rest. He's got to play. He will have to play. We are... We are bare bones. Um, midfield looks really poor now. I'm a bit worried. I'm really worried. So, Morton. They line up 4 3 one, two. I can't believe we lost them. We lost them at home and... I think they're going to sit in deep here and try and do the same. Clearly, they countered us last time. The second half, as soon as they took the lead, there was nothing happening in the game. I'm worried they do that from the start. Duffy now into Mullen. Back to Duffy. Finds McShane. Blair. Duffy now out on the left. He hasn't played a lot of football this season. Whips it across. Go for the hair. Jeff King floats in. Luke Mahadi. He's cracked the crossbar. Of course, of course, of course. Everyone hits the crossbar. Our inability to convert some of these chances is what has cost us this season. 
That has not just happened. What is Duffy doing? I was waiting. It's a terrible free kick, and we've just given away a blooming pen. F off. I don't. I don't get. It. I have no idea what happened to our squad, but. At parts of this season, they haven't looked like the same team at all. O'Connor heads that one wide. <sighs> Terrible. I, it's times like this where I really question, what, what do we do next season? We we're, we're very likely don't have mo the money to go out and get the kind of players that it's not even about closing the gap to them. We should be, be we should have beat them in the first leg. And here we've come up, we've come here. They've done nothing. They've won a pen, and we have just scrambled and not taken our chances once again. Like I, I'm, I'm not saying we've been better than them in this game because literally both teams have done nothing. Neither of us have looked worthy of, you know, making it to playoffs, final or anything. We're gonna have to ask the team to do something different so here we are trying to do something different Notley's coming off, Doug Leash is coming on McCray's coming off, Harker's coming on I wish I could have changed that actually right pause Jeff King's coming off, Fraser Mullins going back there and we're going to bring on Murray Miller I guess Doug Leash in the box to box midfielder role. Oh, fuck. it's 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 dreadful. It's really bad. It's really bad watching us when we when we just can't be arsed. Look at that from the keeper. I could replace all eleven of these players and we wouldn't maybe not Fraser Mullen and but we wouldn't we wouldn't care. There's not a single one of these players that were like, ah, he's he's really can't do without him. Sample as good as his bit, he's been every big game that comes up. He's too tired. I can't believe we have just, we have just gone out of these playoffs, and it has been woeful. That's offside. That was the first thing they looked like they actually did right. Everything else has been handed to them, and that is the most disgusting thing of all. Like watching bloody Morton are like the Man United of the save. They've they've just rocked up played terribly, and been gifted two goals. God, it's unbelievable. What are we doing? Like, there's 40 seconds left. Unless we're gonna, we're gonna whip this in and we're gonna score it. <laughs> what's, what's the point? What's the point in that? We need higher, better quality. I don't even think we're gonna have the money to go get better quality. That was absolutely shit. I do not care. I'm telling them it's unacceptable because... The simple fact is we're a team that is looking to progress. We're maybe a team on the up, and that is terrible. Airdrie beat Queen's Park as well. Elgin City managed to come up, which is good because we could use a team we can beat. I, I honestly think that was terrible. I, th I think this is that is the worst you are, you've seen. I mean, we had some horrendous losses this season. Some really bad bits of play, but to go down without a fight against Morton. And we, we battered them first half. But if we can't convert chances, what good are we? Like, the Brazilian box, it works, right? We have things, when it clicks, we look very good. But I could replace about 10 of those first team players and I expect to have a better team. And that is a bad position to be in because we don't have that kind of money. We're not going to have that kind of money. Not this early anyway. It's going to take a long time to get the kind of money we need it to 
really improves. Rob Harker played eight matches without finding the net. All season, Rob Harker has scored six goals, two assists in 24 appearances. Even if you're coming off the bench 14 times, a consistent player like that, he's got to score more. He's got to put the ball in the back of the net more than he has. I mean... Silver lining, both our wing backs are injured. We went if we would be made the final, we'd be absolutely toast. Still would have wanted to make it though. Let's not let's not joke about that. We obviously wanted to, to go with the final. End of season review, and it's like it's the last thing I want to do is look at the team and go, Yeah, he wasn't that good. Brett Long, yeah, he wasn't that good. Barely played. Kevin Hi, a C minus, I think is pretty harsh. Seven assists. Uh, was a good player for us. I expect him to be around next season as part of the team. Adam Disboy, the board content with the deal. Content, a C. Arguably one of our better players over the course of the season. Again, what is that saying? Because he had some absolute bomb scares. 45 appearances, 7.04 rating. I'm surprised they rate him so low. Rob Harker, I'm surprised they rate him so high. Even though he's got 7.02 Six goals as a striker, 24 appearances is terrible. Craig Watson, yeah. He was rubbish. Ian McShane, yeah, he's not great. Jeff King, I, I think Jeff King was better than that, to be honest, but oh well. McCray, nine goals, five assists. I don't know, an E seems really harsh. I think an E seems really harsh. Frank Gillespie, a C, I think is maybe there or thereabouts. Yeah, he barely played. Uh, probably won't re-sign him. Connor Duffy, he wanted to leave at one point. He was absolutely rubbish in the playoffs, so he can go. Murray Miller, <sighs> I think he didn't play a lot. He's not that good. Our, our, our transfer business was woeful. Scottish Cup, we were poor. Premier Sports Cup, I thought we were really good. The fact is, uh, just a C plus is kind of insulting. We made it through a group stage. We lost to Dundee. No harm in that. SPFL Trust Trophy, really disappointed going out to Airdrie. I expected to do better, to be honest. Right, so next season, Club Vision, um, work within the wage budget, mid-table. I got to work hard, get earn a new contract. Then they want to start finishing top half the following season. But, I, you know, I'll accept that. They're not expect forcing any sort of style of play on us, which is good. Squad dynamics are good. I think there's going to be a bit of a turnover in this team, but we'll see. I'll go through the through the contracts end of season. I I want to see where we're gonna make the playoffs again. Good. We'll look at promises for next season once they're back, because again, this team is gonna be different. East Fife relegated to League Two, uh, which means which actually means no more Fife Derby. Other than the fact Kelly Hearts are coming up. Great. Fantastic. Um, so budgets for next season they've set 9.5k per week in wages and a transfer budget of 27k. Beautiful. It's not a lot to work with. We're currently spending 5,000, so 4,000 worth of wages, so it's gone up by about 2k. And we'll maybe take a look at our wages, maybe move some players on, maybe cut some players loose. More than anything, I wish our club rep had gone up um it doesn't seem to have moved much pretty disappointing we could do with that extra bit of club rep to to get players interested in joining us that's it for another season of beyond blue brazil and it ends in the most disappointing fashion i don't know what to say really poor performances in the first leg and the second leg handed it to them on a silver plier i'm gonna have to ring changes we have to go be aggressive in the transfer market. We need to find the chosen one. A striker who can convert chances. If we find that, I think we're, we've got we've got a team good enough almost already. We're going to have to strengthen other positions. Midfield looks like it's fallen behind. So um, that's where a lot of our focus will be on. I'll see you next season on Beyond Blue Brazil. A horrible way to end this season, huh? Do hit that subscribe button. Drop comment below. Where do you think we need strengthen in the postseason?
everywhere. Feels like it might be everywhere. Catch you next time. For more Beyond Blue Brazil. I'm really disappointed.